Often, people used to drive through downtown Vista without even looking. Now they're stopping to buy a muffin, get a haircut, or order some flowers. Oh, I'm feeling extravagant. Let's go uh -huh. 30. Actually, they're very positive. They'll say, boy, Vista really needed a shop like this. And then they'll come in and look around and have something. And most of them return, too. Karen Flanagan opened her coffee shop last November. While the brownies bake, she sells tickets for the theater next door. For years, the old movie house stood idle. Now Mid-City Players is packing them in for cats. Live theater in the heart of downtown. They were three deep and a block long, and we had three seats left. And if we have, have how many? 403. <laughs> If you visit Vista on a regular basis like I do, you've noticed that the downtown has been changing. New businesses are opening up and storefronts are sprucing up. The old bank building that dates back to 1928 has been renovated and it's waiting for the right tenant. We are attempting to get a very fine restaurant. Um, a successful downtown is one that is not just a place to buy but a place to be. And we're looking forward to this being one of the center of attractions for downtown. Are you sensing that more people are downtown now? Mm -hmm. For a while, you, you'd drive up the road here and there'd be nobody walking on the sidewalks. And now you look out and you actually see people around. There's some life down here. We gave it back to them when they thought it was gone. Now they see it's open again and it's a different kind of entertainment. And they can come in and see plays now, live theater, but it's their old home. They f they're looking for the same seats they sat in as a kid, and they pick them out. A water sports park, light rail, and new freeway off-ramps are all ahead for this city with big plans and growing optimism. Liz Purcell, News 8, Vista.